Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, let's talk tech. So as you can see in front of me, we got a fairly large box. Uh, and inside this box is a fairly large device that I picked up off of Amazon. I'm very excited about this. It's something um, that you guys probably realize that I'm very interested in, that I need, and that I can find very good use out of. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing, show you guys what's inside and what we're gonna do with it, how we use it, and uh, just the overall awesomeness of what's in this box. Uh, keep in mind, this is by GVM, which stands for Great Video Maker. And uh, let's let's open this bad boy up. So we're not gonna do the typical slow-mo. We're gonna, just gonna open this box up because it's so big. And I'll kind of show you guys what's inside the box as I open it. A box within a box. This is Inception. Let's this. First off, why is the exact same box inside? I don't know. Okay, let's do this. That's one box within a box. If there's another box inside of here, I'm just gonna keep opening it. Ah. Ooh. Similar box container. That's kind of smart. They, they keep that box in there. Um, I, I think that's a very secure setup. I'm not gonna lie. That actually feels very safe for them to do two boxes. That way the exterior box gets ruined instead of the interior box. And then this guy's in its own uh, nice little case. Check that out. Good new smell. Great video maker. I like it. I like it. I'm loving it. Loving it. Unzipping. Oh, look. Your voice speaks much louder than ours. If you're if you love your new GVM product, show it off. Snap a photo and share it. I most certainly will. All right. Nice high quality setup. Wow. USB cable. Ooh. This looks like a battery powered controller. Allen wrench for fixing and adjusting, I imagine. That's nice, very nice. Ooh, all these cables. Huh. Battery charger, power. Here we are. Ooh, look at that. This is the great video maker camera slider. Um, as you can tell, it's very similar to one that I have behind me. This is my very own carbon fiber slider that I personally made uh, electronic from a newer slider, uh, carbon fiber slider. Uh, this guy has done lots of lots of good work and I love it so much. Uh, the only issue that I'm having with this one is it's not as small as I'd like it, but at the same time, it's a little bit quirky in how to figure out how to set this guy up. And uh, just kind of, kind of um, takes too much time for me to set up as far as the electronics go, plugging the battery in and everything else. Uh, so I love this guy, but it's time to move up to a newer standalone, just amazing version uh, and perfected version of itself. So as you can see here, this is the great video maker camera slider, electronic camera slider. Uh, on the back here, you have your motor, which is very similar to the one I have here. And then you have your belt driven system. Uh, here's the gear and the pulley in the back. And then you have your rollers, your carbon fiber. And then right here, uh, if you can see, there's this little bar in the center here. What you can actually do with this is get the base here, which is attached to pivot in a certain direction or your preferred direction uh, as it moves along the track. So we'll try that out later, but I do want to show you guys that. And uh, yeah, look at that, pretty amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and plug everything else in and see how it all looks and how well it works. Okay, as you can see here, we have our base where we're gonna be putting our camera. At the same time, we have the two points on each end, uh, like so, where we can set the pan and pivot of the actual uh, mounting bracket, uh, mounting point on the actual slider itself. Uh, on the back right here, we have our motor. And in that motor on the back, there's a little connector where we can connect our controller. So we're gonna connect that right now. Just a heads up, this does not come with a Sony battery, which these guys take. Uh, I do, however, have a bunch inside, so I'm gonna grab that and set this up real quick. All right, guys, uh, so we have the battery connected to us. Uh, this battery's gonna last forever. I love these batteries. These Sony batteries are fairly cheap, easy to install, and uh, easy to charge. No problems at all there. You have this little mounting bracket on the bottom of this if you want to set it up on a tripod mount. Uh, I probably won't be doing that. It's 
got a little strap on here so you can keep it securely uh, if you want to tie it somewhere similar or close to the actual tripod itself. And then on the top, you have these little uh, USB out, then you have your uh, D DC in so you can just power this uh, controller using a DC power plug if you want. And then you also have a shutter button on here, uh, for instance, if you want to do uh, automatic time lapses with this controller itself. Fairly cool. Uh, so what we're going to do now is read the instructions, connect it, and set it up. Now the instructions are pretty simple. All you really got to do is plug in the USB to your actual controller, and then right where I showed you before where the motor mount ha the motor has its own little connector, you plug this guy right into the back of that. So we're going to plug that in, and then we have our little power switch at the bottom of the controller. Power this guy on. And we have the option to do a video shot, a time lapse, or setting. I'm going to be doing the video shot, so we're just going to select that. And there's a manual mode and an auto mode. I'm just going to go ahead and use the auto mode just for fun, uh, because I'm not very experienced or or I've used this enough to where I can feel comfortable using the auto mode. So, I mean the manual mode. So we'll go ahead and use the auto mode. And we're going to do a auto stop, and that means we're going to do on one side to the other. We're going to automatically go and stop. All right, so we're going to click that and we're going to change our speed. So we have ours at about 50% and the B to A. So you're going from location B to location A. And as you can see, as it's moving, this little guy right here is actually turning as it moves. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the camera, set this guy up on here, show you guys how it looks and how I'll be using it on the YouTube channel. Um, very cool, easy, easy setup. You can speed it up if you want to by holding that. And as you can see, as I speed it up, it goes faster. And then by clicking left and right, you're able to go back and forth using that. But the cool thing about this uh, the guy though, is like when you switch it, it's not a very, very fast, uh, immediate reaction. It actually does a little slow there. So you can go back and forth and slow it up. So let's get a couple shots with this guy, show you guys how it looks. And uh, yeah, see how well it does. Sweet. All right, guys, we have this thing set up and ready to go. I'm pretty happy about this. It's very easy to set up. Just turn it on, uh, select the video shot that you want, and you go. It's doing the automatic pan as we continue to go back and forth, and we can switch it up A and B however we like. Pretty smooth little shot. I, I really, really like how this is set up, and you can adjust all of this any way you like. So now we're just testing out the left and right pan using the little poles that I showed you on there that can help you control it. Uh, you do have a little bit of practice with this guy that you have to get used to. Once you figure it out, it's pretty good. And this is 100% speed right now. This is basically the fastest you can go with it. But uh, if you wanted to, you could slow it down uh, dramatically. Uh, so we'll go ahead and slow this guy down, show you exactly how slow it goes. Uh, let's do 75%. Very easy. If you want to go left, you just press left. If you want to go right, you just press right. And then to stop and pause this guy, all you got to do is press the center button to pause it. Very, very easy, super intuitive. Um, really, really happy how this turned out. Uh, I did want to show you guys a couple shots that I can get with this little slider and show you how smooth and awesome this thing can be if you use it correctly. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take this guy outside, try it out and see exactly how it looks as we're shooting some pretty cool little slider shots. All right. Let's do it.
All right, guys. Um, first impressions, super easy to set up. This little gimbal is very, very intuitive, very easy to set up. Has all these extra capabilities um, that I'm probably not using it to the fullest. Um, overall though, the coolest thing about this for me is the way that in which you can set it up to uh, pan and uh, stay, uh, stay at a certain angle at all times. Uh, and that could be amazing for time lapses and uh, quick slide shots, just really, really good, cool focused sliding shots. I know a lot of the video tests that I did was uh, super, super, like 100% fast speed of the slider. And that's just so I can give you guys the total full effect with, in a short period of time without wasting your time. And um, very, very easy to use. Like I said, uh, everything in here is very intuitive. You can just adjust the speed and you can select uh, which location and direction you wanna go left, you wanna go right. Um, and then you can also change it to manual settings and even use this guy uh, for other options like actual photography time lapses. So very, very nice. I really, really enjoyed that. And uh, not only that, but the, the fact that you can just use one of these Sony batteries to power this guy uh, is pretty amazing to me uh, because with my previous setup, like this guy right here, I had to grab a whole bunch of RC batteries to power it. And it was kind of a pain to plug in and set up and get everything going. It took me at least 10 minutes to set it up. Where this guy, you simply plug in the USB, you plug in the uh, connector to that, and then you slap on a battery uh, and you're good to go. It's super, super easy. And there's really no headache to it. I really, really uh, appreciate that. The cable's super long and I really, really enjoy using this thing. I was really, really confused in the beginning as to what these cables were, but it actually turns out these are the shutter cables to control your camera. They give you literally like 20 to 30 cables uh, to connect to your camera if you want to use that shutter option. I most likely won't use that, but you have that option available if you want and you even have the cables that go with it. So kudos to you guys, uh, GVM, for making this. Super, super nice slider for a really good price of $350. Very, very happy with it, very satisfied, and it's definitely worth the money. That doesn't mean I won't be using this slider uh, later down the road. I'll have more projects where I'll be using multiple sliders at one time. I don't know if I'll be using the motor on this. I might just pull this off and keep this as a regular slider for the time being. But everything else, very, very nice with the GVM slider. Uh, I will say it will take some time to get used to uh, using sliders and getting the perfect speed is totally up to you. Uh, but other than that, it's Pretty much plug and play, ready to go right out of the box. No need to connect your computer, no need to reprogram, no need to uh, add all these extra custom batteries. You have the Sony battery, you have the controller, you have the wire, and the motor connection to, directly to the slider itself, and everything else is good to go. You will have to learn uh, how to set up the little uh, panning adjustability uh, bar, which is fairly easy. Once you get a hang of it, uh, you'll definitely be good to go from then on out. And uh, yeah. That's the review of the GVM Video Maker slider for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, for my tech channel, for everything that I'll be using for this channel, this thing is definitely something I'm gonna be using constantly in the future. And uh, I've, I've actually found something that I can get more of those with, and I'm very happy to try it out. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.